Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil, the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Line Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 2,000-point battle between my Dark Angels and Daniel's Space Wolves. So the story that we've got going on here is that the uh, Space Wolves and Dark Angels were sent to go uh, help to bolster the forces of some Astra Militarum that were uh, engaged in, in, uh, in, a, in a heated war on a, on a planet. But before they could, uh, before they could properly work together, uh, honor had to be assuaged. So... Uh, the two forces met in a neighboring planet to uh, battle it out in their honor duel to try to find out uh, who uh, to assuage the, 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 the honor of their, of their uh, predecessors. So uh, that's where we find ourselves right now, where both sides are meeting in the honor duel. Belial stepping forth for the Dark Angels and a wolf lord with a jump pack Thunderhammer Storm Shield stepping forth for the uh, Space Wolves. He also has the Wolfenstone, uh, which will give him a plus one attack. So uh, what we are going to do right now is we are going to uh, have a, an honor duel of our own here, where both sides are going to take uh, turns uh, swinging in and attacking the other, whoever can do uh, the most damage to the uh, to the uh, to their opponent uh, will win. So uh, we're going to start out right now with the Wolf Lord taking his attack. So he has uh, what is it? Base four attacks. Base four attacks plus one because of uh, the Wolf in Stone, and because we are declaring that this is like the first round of combat uh, where someone has charged. He's going to have an additional plus one, so he will have six attacks coming in here. Um, he is going to be minus one to hit because of Belial uh, having a minus one hit. He'll have plus one to hit because he's a plus one weapon skill because of uh, being a uh, being a um, whatchamacallit space wolf and he's going to have minus one to hit because of the thunder hammer so he's going to be hitting on threes plus one minus one minus one again because of uh, Belial Belial has a minus one uh, parrying blade so he's minus one to hit in close combat so it's going to be a total of minus one so hitting on threes then with the wolf lord here so hitting on threes woo getting all hits these are going to be strength eight so these are going to be wounding on twos all right so we've got five wounds there all right and Belial will have a four up iron halo save on these uh, making two of them, so he t uh, takes three uh, damage worth here, so that's going to be three damage apiece, right? So a total of nine damage onto Belial. We'll come back to you with Belial's attacks. All right, so now Belial has his four attacks back, hitting on twos. All right, that is all hits. These are going to be wounding on twos, because that's what his blade allows. Uh, okay. One goes through. <laughs> One goes through. AP minus three, three up, invul save. He is good. So, the Space Wolf wins the honor duel here, but as he draws first blood on Belial, as Belial stands back up, the, spa the Wolf Lord is still in the heat of battle, uh, kicks him back down to the ground, causing the uh, causing the, the the his honor guard of Deathwing Knights to start moving forward. His honor guard of Thunderwolf Cavalry move forward, and suddenly they realize that honor has been besmirched once again. So we find ourselves in a position where both sides now have decided upon the planet to fight back and gain their honor back so that is the story that we're gonna have for this battle is both sides fighting for their honor in this 2,000 point battle so before we go any further though let's show you the two armies that are gonna be fighting it out so for the Dark Angels I'll be running two battalion detachments leading off the first battalion detachment we have Azrael, Belial and a lieutenant we have two five-man scout squads with bolters and one intercessor squad we have a five-man Deathwing Knight Squad. We have a five-man Deathwing Terminator Squad. And a ten-man Hellblaster Squad. For the second battalion detachment, leading off, we have Semael and a Talonmaster. We have two five-man Scout Squads with sniper rifles and an Intercessor Squad. And last but not least, we have a three-man Black Knight Squad. And for the Space Wolves, he'll be running an Outrider Detachment and a Battalion Detachment. Leading off the Outrider Detachment, we have a Wolf Lord with a Jump Pack, Thunder Hammer, and Storm Shield. We have three three-man Thunder Wolf Cavalry Squads. Everybody has Storm Shields. Two guys have Lightning Claws, one guy has a Power Fist, and the rest have Thunder Hammers. Then for the Battalion Detachment, leading it off here, from left to right, we have a Wolf Guard Battle Leader with a Jump Pack, Power Axe and Bolt Pistol. We have Nial Stormcaller, and we have a Wolf Lord with Jump Pack, Thunder Hammer, and Storm Shield. We have three six-man Grey Hunter squads. Each 
pack has a melty gun. Each pack leader has a power fist. And there are two wolf guard pack leaders in here. Uh, one with a lightning claw and plasma pistol and one with dual lightning claws. We have a Land Raider Redeemer with a multi melter. And last but not least, we have a Stormfang gunship with Hellfrost Destructor Cannon, two twin multi melters, and two Stormstrike missiles. All right, so those are the armies going over deployment. I've got a five man scout squad with bolters over here, scout squad with sniper rifles, scout squad to sniper rifles, Black Knights, Samael, and Talon Master. We got Hellblasters with Azrael and a Lieutenant back over here. We got a five-man Intercessor squad in the trees here, five-man Intercessor squad in the trees here, and a five-man Scout squad back over here. Uh, in Deep Strike Reserve, I've got my, I've got Belial, I've got um, my Deathwing Knights and my Deathwing Terminators. Going over deployment for the Space Wolves, we've got three-man squad, three-man squad, three-man squad of Thunderwolf Cavalry back over here next to the Land Raider. We've got his three uh, HQs with the jump packs, so the two Wolf Lord, uh, Wolf Lords, and the one uh, Wolf Guard Battle Leader. Wolf Guard Battle Leader. That was a little help from my uh, my opponent there. <laughs> we then have his uh, Land Raider Redeemer over here. Uh, inside of there are going to be two of the uh, Grey Hunter squads. The two that have the uh, the Wolf Guard pack leaders are going to be inside of there. And then we've got his uh, his uh, Storm Wolf gunship, Storm Fang gunship, uh, which inside was going to be the third of the um, the third of the. Uh, Grey Hunter squads. Uh, and then in Deep Strike Reserve, he's going to have uh, Neal Stormcaller. So, uh, that is the deployment. We are going to be playing the um, uh, Beachhead uh, mission, which is from Chapter Approved 2018, uh, which essentially we've got one objective in the middle, one in my opponent's yeah. deployment zone, and one in my deployment zone. Uh, starting on the second turn, at the beginning of your turn, you score points based upon which objectives you hold. If you hold the one in your deployment zone, you score one point. If you hold the one in the middle, you score two points. And if you hold the one in the, your opponent's zone, you score three points. So if you hold all three at the beginning of your turn you're going to be scoring six points uh, and any portion thereof that you hold uh, but it's at the beginning of the turn not the end of the turn so you have to get onto it hold it and then survive until your next turn to be able to to claim it so um, that is the deployment that is the mission that we're going to be playing um, we are going to have since he won the uh, honor duel in the beginning my opponent will be going first uh, we're not gonna have a CZ initiative so they're just uh, their, their blood is running hot from uh, from the victory, even though there was that, that cheap shot at the end that caused all of this problem here. Uh, they're still uh, hot blood and ready to uh, ready to get into the thick of things. Uh, we dis also decided to give both of our champions there that went in there uh, the benefits of the, uh, the, the wolf and the lion uh, stratagem, which essentially gives them plus one strength, plus one leadership, plus one weapon skill, and plus one attack. So... Uh, Belial and his uh, his wolf lord there will both have the benefit of those. Although going when we were looking over it, like it didn't necessarily make a big difference. <laughs> um, looking at it the way it worked out um, between them, like there's certain things like Belial's sword always hit wounds on a two, so the plus one strength didn't make a difference. Uh, their leadership is also already super high, so the plus one leadership doesn't make a difference. And then his plus one, what was it, plus one weapon skill, he's already basically maxing out with his guys anyway. So. Um, you know, that's just it, but it's the fact is, it's just fun to do. <laughs> so, that is going to be uh, that. So, we will come back to you after movement phase for the Space Wolves here on turn one. All right, movement phase for the Space Wolves here on turn one. His uh, Stormfang gunship. <laughs> I got it. Uh, right, I did get it, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, got, I got excited that I got it and then I questioned myself, but I got it. Uh, Stormfang gunship uh, moved up over this way from over there. Uh, his Thunderwolf Cavalry here, actually all three Thunderwolf Cavalry guys uh, advanced up. Um, all three of his uh, characters over here with the jump packs advanced up over here. And then his Land Raider Redeemer uh, just moved up to the position that he is there. So that is the end of the movement phase. Uh, his Psyker is still up in orbit, uh, probably coming down next turn. Uh, but so we will move on now to the shooting phase. All right, so starting off the shooting phase with his Land Raider here, he's going to fire everything into my Hellblasters. The Flamestorm Cannons are not in range, so his Twin Assault Cannon and Multi Melta are going to be firing into them. So we're going to start with the Multi Melta first. This is going to be hitting on a 3. That is a hit. Wounding on a 2. 
That is not a wound. Rerolling ones though because of the uh, the battle leader. That is a wound. So four up invul save because of Azrael. And he's good with a filth face. Woo! And now the twin assault cannon is going to fire in here. Twelve shots. These are going to be hitting again on threes. Rerolling ones because of the uh, wolf uh, leader there. All right, so all but two hits, pretty good. So that's going to be ten hits. These are going to be sh uh, strength six, wounding on uh, strength six, so wounding on threes. All right, rerolling ones because of the wolf guard uh, leader there. So that is going to be one, two, three, four, five wounds there. So we've got five um, AP minus one plus one because they're in cover there. So looking for three up saves. Oh, guys falling over. Uh, getting all but one. All right, so now the Stormfang gunship is going to fire into my Hell Blasters here. Uh, he's going to fire uh, the Hell the Hellfrost Destructor Cannon. Yeah, I got that right. Uh, on dispersed mode into my Hell Blasters here, so it's going to be three D three shots. Uh, so going to get command three. Uh, it's going to spend a command point to reroll that. Back into a one. Okay, so that's going to be three, six, seven shots here. These are going to be uh, hitting on threes because he's got power of the machine spirit. Uh, Rerolling ones because he's within range of the wolf leader. That is going to be all hits. These are strength six, six strength six. So looking for threes to wound. Uh, Rerolling ones because of the um, the battle leader. All right. So these are going to be that's going to be three wounds there. AP AP minus two plus one because they're in cover there. So four up saves. Uh, making two of them. It's actually AP minus four, but they've got uh, four up invul saves because of Azrael there, so it still would have worked out uh, the exact same there. So still the one guy dead. Now the two twin linked multi melters are going to fire in here. So this is going to be uh, four shots hitting on threes, not rerolling twos, unfortunately. So it's going to be three hits, wounding on twos. Uh, that is going to be three wounds. So three, four up invul saves because of Azrael. Uh, making two of them, so one more guy takes a wound. Oh no, it's a D6 wounds, I forgot. Ha ha ha! So five wounds, that's another guy dead. And then we've got the two storm strike missiles that are gonna fire in here on threes. That is going to be two hits. These are going to be strength eight, so wounding on twos. That is gonna be two wounds. Two four up invul saves. And a failed one, made one. So uh, three damage apiece, that's another guy dead. All right, so that is going to be it for the um, uh, for the Space Wolves turn here uh, because everything else advanced so cannot charge and that's all the shooting that he has here. So uh, we lost uh, three guys over here. Uh, so three plus uh, three is six. So they are good to go. Um, and that is that. So we will come back to you after a movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn uh, turn one. Movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn one. I have my scout squad stood still, as did this scout squad, as did this scout squad. My Black Knights and my uh, two character speeders moved up over this way. Hellblasters, Azrael, Lieutenant all stood still, as did this squad of um, intercessors, this squad of intercessors, and this scout squad. So that is it for the movement phase. We will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so we're going to start off the shooting phase with this intercessor squad firing into his Thunderwolf cavalry over here. So we're going to have seven shots because two guys are in rapid fire range, hitting on threes. All right. These are now going to be strength four, toughness five, right? Toughness five, so looking for uh, fives to wound. Uh, getting three wounds. AP uh, minus one, so this is going to be uh, three up invul saves because of their storm shields. Uh, making them all. Now this intercessor squad is going to fire into the Thunderwolf cavalry there. Six shots because only one guy is within range there. These are going to be hitting on um, hitting on threes. Uh, Rerolling ones because of um, Grim Resolve. They didn't move. All right, so that's one miss there. These are now going to be wounding on fives. Uh, okay, so it's going to be two wounds, AP minus one, three ups. Fails one of them. Now my scouts over here, two of them are in range of his Thunderwolf Cavalry. The other three are going to shoot into his uh, Stormfang over here. So the two into the Thunderwolf Cavalry, uh, hitting on threes, wounding on fives, no wound there. And then three guys into the Stormfang looking for fours since he's minus one to hit. Uh, Rerolling ones because of Grim Resolve. So that is three hits, pretty good. Wounding on fives. That is two wounds. Two regular saves on him, so three ups, I'm sure. Uh, fails both of them. Now my lieutenant's going to fire his two bolt pistols into the Thunderwolf Cavalry there, hitting on threes. That's two hits, wounding on fives. Uh, getting one wound, regular save. He's good. 
All right, so now Azrael is going to supercharge and fire into them with his plasma. You heard me right. He is going to supercharge. So, two shots. Hitting on twos. Oh, boy. Rerolling because of himself. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, okay. Whew, making me sweat there, Azrael. So that's two hits. These are going to be strength eight, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, getting two wounds, AP minus three, but three up in vol saves. Uh, making them both. All right, so now my Hell Blasters are going to fire. Four of them are going to fire into Thunderwolf Cavalry, and three of them are going to fire into his Stormfang gunship here. So we're going to go with the ones into the Thunder... Uh, into the... Uh, the... The wolves. <laughs> so we're going to go with that first. So one at a time because of them uh, b uh, being... Uh, they're going to supercharge, and they're going to spend a command point on weapons of the Dark Age. Let me see if I get uh, that command point back. I do not, so I am down to uh, 14 now, uh, which is, I mean, oh no, down to uh, 13 now. Uh, so now we're going to roll one at a time for these guys into the Thunderwolf Cavalry there. So hitting on threes, that's two hits. That's cocked. That is rerolling because of Azrael. That is a hit, so that's uh, four hits so far. Rerolling because of Azrael, that's a hit. And then rerolling because of Azrael. Ooh, one guy's going to be dead, uh, but these all are hits, so these are going to be strength eight, wounding on threes. All right, that one's cocked. All right, so that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. AP minus four, so he's going to be going on his uh, AP minus four, so these are going to be three up in vol saves. Uh, and he fails three of them, so that is the squad wiped. And that is first strike. And then the three guys into his Stormfang uh, gunship up here. So we're going to do, uh, it's going to be rapid fire. So there's going to be six shots total. We've got to do it one at a time. These are going to be hitting on fours because of um, the fact that he's supersonic up here. So hitting on fours, re-rolling ones and twos. Uh, re-rolling these, these two. Uh, so that's going to be two hits. Uh, not re-rolling the three, but that's one hit. Uh, and two more hits. So that's five total hits. Strength eight, looking for threes to wound. Rerolling ones to wound because of the uh, uh, lieutenant there. So that is going to be one, two, three, four, five at AP minus four. So that's just going to go straight through. So that's uh, 15 damage. So he is also dead. Does he explode? On a six? No, he doesn't explode. All right, the six guys inside. Uh, one guy will twist an ankle. And that is where they ended up. All right, so now my Black Knights are going to fire into his Thunderwolf Cavalry squad here. So they're going to supercharge here, so it's going to be two shots apiece, so we're going to do one at a time. Hitting on threes. Uh, Rerolling because of Samael. All right, so that's a miss, but doesn't blow up. Next guy. Uh, Rerolling because of Samael, so that's a hit. Uh, Rerolling because of Samael, because they're Ravenwing, they get to reroll everything, so it's a miss, but not a blow up. So that's going to be four hits. These are going to be strength eight, so wounding on threes. Rerolling ones because of the Talon Master. Uh, nope, not meant to be. So that's going to be two at AP minus three. Uh, fails both of them, so that's going to be a dead guy. So my sniper squad over here is going to fire into his guy with the red hair over here. It's his Wolf Lord. So it's going to be five shots hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of Grim Resolve. All right, so that's three hits. These are going to be uh, wounding on fours. So that is two wounds, no mortal wounds. So that's just going to be two regular saves, and he's good. And now these uh, these uh, snipers here are going to fire into these thunder wolves over there. So that's going to be five shots hitting on threes. Uh, that is all hits, wounding on fives. Uh, not getting to reroll anything there, but it's going to be one mortal wound plus a save. Oh no! So that is going to be uh, two wounds onto a guy. So now my Talon Master is going to fire into the Thunderwolf Cavalry here. We're going to start with his Twin Assault Cannon, hitting on. Uh, these are going to be hitting on uh, fours because he moved. Rerolling ones and twos because of uh, because of Samael there. All right. So those threes are misses. So these are now going to be Strength Six. So looking for threes to wound. Oh, that one's cocked. All right, re-rolling ones because of himself. All righty, so that is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at AP minus one. Uh, doesn't matter, so it's going to be seven three-up saves. Uh, failing one, two, three, so one guy is left with one wound. And then the twin heavy bolter uh, hitting on re-rolling ones and twos. 
Okay, not meant to be, and those threes are misses. Uh, wounding on fours, because it's strength five. Uh, getting one wound, AP minus one. No, and he goes down. And now Samael's gonna fire into the third Thunderwolf Cavalry squad there, so it's gonna be 12 shots from his twin assault cannon, hitting on uh, threes because he moved. Rerolling ones. All righty. These are now strength six, so looking for threes to wound. Rerolling ones because of the uh, the Talon Master there. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five wounds at AP minus one. So three up saves. Uh, failing two of them. And then his twin heavy bolter uh, hitting on threes and rerolling ones. So uh, no there. So these are going to be wounding on fours. Getting no wounds there. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, my Black Knights are going to charge into his uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry there and need five-inch charge to get in. They don't have any pistols because they uh, swap them out for the Storm Shields. Uh, so they are in. And now my Talon Master is going to charge into them. Needed a nine-inch charge. Uh, does not make it. And then Samael is going to charge in. He needs an eight-inch charge. Uh, five uh, does not make it. I'm going to spend a command point to reroll this. Uh, and he does make it in. Do I get the command point back? I do. All right, so that's it for the charges onto the uh, into the fight phase. We're going to start with Samael. He's going to attack into his Thunderwolf Cavalry here. Uh, he's going to have five attacks. These are going to be um, hitting on twos because uh, that's what he does. Uh, Rerolling because of himself. Okay, not meant to be. These are now going to be uh, strength times two on the charge. So it's going to be strength eight looking for threes to wound. Uh, not getting. I don't think he's within six inches there, so it's going to be two that go through. Three up in vol saves. Fails them both, so that's going to be two damage. So it's going to kill one guy out, uh, kill one guy with the one wound left, and then it's going to put two wounds onto another guy. All right, so now my Black Knights are going to attack. They've got two attacks each, except for the Huntmaster, who's going to have three attacks. Uh, so these are going to be hitting on threes. Rerolling, thankfully, because of Samael there. All right, pretty good. Uh, these are now going to be strength plus one, so strength five, looking for fours to wound. All right, so that's going to be four wounds. Two of them are sixes. These are going to be D3 apiece. So we have to do these separately. So let's do the two regular ones first. These are going to be uh, three up invul saves. Fails one, so that's going to kill that guy. And then we've got the two uh, sixes here. These are going to be uh, failing none of them. So he makes both of those. So one guy is still alive. All right, so now his last guy here is a pack leader is going to attack into Samael. So he's got three attacks here. These are going to be um, hitting on fours because it's minus one unwieldy, right? Oh, no, but plus one attack because of – or plus one to hit, right? Plus one to hit because of – minus one plus one uh, because of the wolf – the space wolf uh, chapter tactic, basically. So it's going to be hitting on threes. All right, so that is going to be two hits. These are going to be strength eight, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, making two wounds there, four up in vol save because of um, four up in vol save because of Iron Halo. Uh, failing both, I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll one of those. I do not, so that's gonna be six damage. He's left with one wound left. And now the wolf gets to attack back, so he's got three attacks. He's gonna be hitting on twos because he's also a space wolf, so that's gonna be three hits there. These are gonna be wounding on uh, fives because it's strength six, so it's one wound, AP minus one, so it's going to be a four up save. And he makes it. Woo! All right, so that is it for the uh, for the Dark Angels' turn here on turn one. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Space Wolves on turn two. All right, movement phase for the Space Wolves here on turn two. Uh, his Grey Hunter squad that got out of the uh, destroyed uh, Stormfang moved up here so that they're just a little over an inch away from my uh, Hellblasters here. Uh, his three dude bros with the jump packs uh, jumped up over this way, just doing regular 12-inch move. Uh, both of the squads from inside of the Land Raider got out, and then the Land Raider moved up over this way. He stayed in combat over here, and Nial Stormcaller came dropping down Precision Strike over here, nine inches away from my dude bros, uh, to land and try to lend his strength to this fight. So that is going to be it for the movement phase. We will come back to you now with a psychic phase, since he has decided to join us. All right, so starting off, uh, uh, Nial is going to cast Smite on my intercessors here since they are the closest. So this is going to be looking for a four, actually, because he gets plus one to his roll. Uh, so that is a successful roll there. So D3 mortal wounds. 
Uh, two mortal wounds. And now he's going to cast Living Lightning into them over here. So this is looking for a Warp Charge 6, so he needs a 5 on the roll. And he gets it there, so that's going to be... What is it? Is it D3 mortal wounds? Doing two mortal wounds, killing another guy. So Living Lightning has a special rule if he uh, destroys a unit with it that he can it then jumps to another unit within six inches uh, But unfortunately he didn't kill the unit. He just killed another guy. So that is where this the spell ends All right, so now his land raider is gonna start us off in the shooting phase He's gonna fire his two flamestorm cannons into my hell blasters He's gonna fire the twin assault cannon and the multi melta into my intercessors over here So we're gonna start with the two flamestorm cannons. So it's gonna be 2d6 auto hits here uh, getting four auto hits here. These are going to be um, strength. What is it? Strength six. six. So they're looking for threes to wound. All right, getting th uh, four wounds there. These are going to be AP minus two. So uh, damage two. So plus uh, one because they're in cover there. So looking for four up. Oh no no. Plus one because they're in cover there. So looking for four up saves. Uh, making three of them. I'll take that. So now the multi is going to fire into my intercessors over here. Hitting on a three. That's a hit. Wounding on a two. That's a wound. AP minus, uh, AP minus four plus one because they're in cover there. So a six up save. Show me that, Phil, first. Nope, the opposite. So D6 wounds. Dead guy. And now the twin assault cannon is going to fire over here. Hitting on, uh, hitting on threes. Uh, Rerolling ones because of the Lord. All right, one was not meant to be there. So now these are going to be uh, strength six. So again, wounding on threes. All right, rerolling one because of the uh, wolf guard uh, battle leader. So that's going to be uh, looking for uh, three, six, seven, eight wounds there. Um, so eight wounds, AP minus one, plus one because they're in cover there. So looking for three up saves. Oh, failing two of them, so another guy is dead. All right, so the Grey Hunters here are gonna fire. The three that are in range of uh, my guy over here are gonna fire into him with their bolters, and the one melted guy who's like just out of range is gonna fire into my Hell Blasters. So we're gonna go with the six bolter shots first. These are gonna be hitting on threes. Uh, Rerolling one because of the leader there. Uh, so that's gonna be six hits. Looking for fours to wound. Uh, getting four, five wounds there. So that's gonna be five two up saves because he's in cover. Oh, failed one. And the Melta hitting on a three. Oh, no hit. All right, so now this squad here is going to fire into uh, this guy over here with their five bolter shots. And then we've got the one Melta shot that's going to go into the Hellblaster. So we've got the five bolter shots hitting on uh, threes, rerolling ones. Okay, not meant to be. Says so four hits, looking for fours to wound. Ooh, getting all four wounds. That's how you do it. Two up armor serves. Oh, and he fails it. I'm a. Ooh, I need a point because my opponent scored two points at the beginning of his turn here by holding that one. Uh, he didn't have that one at the time, um, so oh, I need points. I'm a. Ooh, pain, 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 pain. I'm gonna spend um, command point to reroll that. <laughs> Who even does that? Oh, boy. And now the melt it into my hell blaster over here. That's a hit. That is a wound. Four up invul save. No, d6 wounds. Yeah, that's a dead guy. All right, so now this squad here is going to fire into my scouts over here. So there's going to be uh, four guys that have bolters, right? Four guys that have bolters that can fire here. So these are going to be four shots hitting on threes. All right, that's all hits. Looking for fours to wound. Getting three wounds, uh, AP my, uh, plus or uh, plus one because of cover there. So looking for three up saves, uh, making all but one. All right, so that's it for shooting phase. Into the assault phase, this squad's gonna attack, uh, charge into my black knights over here. So their charge distance, uh, eight inches. We'll definitely get them in. All right, so now his uh, his uh, gray hunters here are gonna charge into my hell blasters. They are going to fire Overwatch. So we've got uh, eight shots here. These are going to be hitting on sixes. Okay, nothing yet, but re-rolling because of Azrael. Getting nothing there either. So that's a total of 16 rolls without a single six. Great job. All right, so their charge distance is totally in. All right, so now his Wolfhard battle leader is going to charge into my Hellblasters and Azrael over here. So I am going to overwatch with Azrael. I'm going to fire both barrels here. So this is going to be the plasma first on sixes. Uh, getting one hit, rerolling because of himself. That's one hit. Strength seven, looking for a three to wound. 
Uh, Rerolling once because of the lieutenant. Whoa, everyone's falling over. That is a wound. AP minus three, so he's got a four up save because he's got the armor of Russ. He's good. And then we've got the uh, Mastercrafted Bolter. Uh, Rerolling because of himself. Getting one hit. That is a wound. That is a save. And now his charge distance. Uh, four point. is going to spend a command point to reroll that. He's trying to change out the dice here. At five inches. I, ooh, I think that's your mate. We'll see. What's he does manage to get in over there. All right, so now his Wolf Lord here is going to charge into the Hellblasters. Uh, he's way in. And his other Wolf Lord is going to charge into the Hellblasters. Uh, that should get him in. And these guys over here are going to charge into my Hellblasters. Uh, seven inches should get him in. And the Land Raider is going to charge in over here into my Hellblasters. Uh, he makes it in. All right, so once he makes a successful charge, he does a, uh, a four up. He'll do D3 mortal wounds. So no, no mortal wounds. All right, so now he's going to, my opponent's going to activate this squad first, attacking into my, um, into my Hellblasters here. So he's going to have a total of three guys or four guys was it got in? Three, three guys, two right? Two guys that have chain swords. So two regular guys with chain swords and one, uh, and his wolf pack leader with the thunder fist, uh, thunder fist, <laughs> power fist, uh, got into combat over here. So they're going to have uh, four, or no, uh, because they've got the um, the Wolfenstone over here, right? That gives them plus one attack. So they're going to have three attacks each uh, for those guys, and he's going to have uh, four attacks, right? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. He's going to have three attacks as well because he doesn't get the plus one only, from the chain sword. two guys with chain swords are in here. Two guys with chain swords over here, so it's going to be six attacks from them. These are going to be hitting on threes, rerolling one because of the hitting wolf lord. Oh, hitting on twos because it's plus one to hit because they're space wolves. Uh, these are going to be wounding on fours. Um, that getting to reroll one. Is he within six inches? One second. Yep, he is definitely within there. So it's going to be a total of six wounds. AP nothing. So these are going to be looking for three up saves. Whoa, knocking guys over here. Wow. Okay. So one guy is dead, and one guy takes a wound. Leader one for the. Start. And now the fist is going to attack in. He's got three for being a leader, plus one for um, do uh, being uh. uh uh, Dubro with the, with the Wolfenstone, so that's going to be uh, four hits. These are going to be strength eight, so looking for twos to wound. Uh, we're rolling ones, so that is four wounds, four up in vol saves. Uh, failed three of them, so those are going to be uh, D3 apiece. So we have to do these one at a time now. Oh no, the first one's just going to kill a guy, so then we've got two more. So D3 for the first one uh, is D3, so that's one wound, and then the other one's going to kill uh, the guy again. I'm going to spend two command points to interrupt with Azrael over here, so I'm going to see if I get that command, one of those command points back. I do not, so I'm down to nine command points. So his attacks are going to come in here. He has six attacks. Uh, these are going to, uh, to be attacking into uh, the one guy who charged into him over here. So it's going to be the, uh, the Wolf Guard Battle Leader. Got that right. Hitting on twos. All right, that is all hits. These are going to be strength plus two, so strength six. Wounding on threes. Alrighty, so that uh, six does a mortal wound in addition there. So he's gonna have one mortal wound plus he has to make uh, five AP minus three saves. So four up in vol saves because of the armor of Russ. Uh, failing two of them. Uh, so that's it's gonna spend a command point to reroll one of those. Uh, no, fails that one. So that's going to be uh, two D3 wounds here. Uh, so I'm gonna spend. <laughs> I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll one of those. Back into a one, come on! So that's gonna be three total wounds onto him over there. All right, so now this squad over here is gonna activate punching into my lone uh, dude bro left here. So we're gonna do the guy with the power fist first. He's gonna have four attacks hitting threes. on threes. That is all hits. Uh, wounding on twos. That is going to be four wounds. Four, four up in vol serves. Uh, making them all, woo! And now the chain sword attacks from that squad are going to be attacking in here, hitting on threes. Focus. Hitting on twos, that's right. We're rolling ones. All right, these are now going to be wounding on fours. All right, so that is, uh, what is that, 11? Are going to be coming in here? One second. All right, so we've got 11 three ups. And I failed one of them, so he's still alive with one wound left. 
All right, so now his Wolf Lord Warlord over here, uh, who has Saga of the Wolfkin, so he's going to have one uh, plus one attack. He also has the uh, the Wolf and Stone, so that's plus one attack. He also uh, was part of the the Honor Duel at the beginning there, so plus one attack. So he's got a total of what seven attacks? Is that or is it six attacks? Seven attacks, right? Three base or four base attacks? One second. Seven attacks coming in here, so he's going to have seven attacks. These are going to be um, plus one to hit because of being a space wolf, minus one to hit because of it being a thunder hammer, so it's going to be hitting on uh, twos. Rerolling because of himself. These are now going to be um, wounding on twos. Rerolling one because of the guy that I failed to kill. <laughs> so now we're going to have uh, seven uh, four up in Volsays. If he fails a single one, he is dead. Uh, curse blast. <laughs> And now the Wolf Guard Battle Leader is going to attack into Azrael over here. Um, so uh, he's the only one that actually declared the charge into Azrael, so he's the only one that can actually attack in here. So he's going to have, uh, what is it, three base plus one for the stone. All right, so three base plus one for the stone over here. These are going to be hitting on twos. All right, so that's all hits. Strength uh, plus two, is it, for the uh, axe? Mm -hmm. Strength no, plus one, APG. Strength plus one, so he's going to be wounding on threes. Um, Rerolling ones because of himself, so that's going to be four wounds, AP minus two, right? So these are going to be uh, four up saves, uh, regardless of whether it's armor or his invul save. And I make them all! Oh. Alright, so now his other squad of Grey Hunters here that charged into my Black Knights are going to attack in. So we're going to go with the guy with the Power Fist first, so he's going to have uh, two attacks. These are going to be hitting on fours, that's two hits. Wounding on threes, because they're tough five. That is uh, two wounds, uh, AP minus three, so looking for six up serves. Uh, no, not making either of them, so it's gonna be D3 wounds off one at a time. First one is one wound, the second one's going to kill a guy. All right, so now the other guys with chainsaws are gonna attack in here. We got eight attacks coming in from them. These are gonna be hitting on twos. All right, wounding on uh, fives. Getting one wound, three up save, he's good. And now the Wolf Guard Pack Leader is going to attack in here, so he's going to have uh, three total attacks because he's got a uh, he's got light, a pair of lightning claws hitting on two, so that's going to be three hits. Wounding on uh, fives. Oh, wolf claws. They're not just they're not just lightning claws. They're wolf claws. So it's plus one strength, so he's going to be wounding on fours. So that's two wounds. Uh, uh, what was the reroll for? Oh, just got okay. Oh, oh, because of claws. I forgot. Because of claws, it gets to reroll to wound. So it's going to be two wounds. AP minus two, is it? Two AP minus two. So looking for uh, five up saves, making one, failing one. And now his thunder wolf will start us off in the non chargers here, attacking into my black knights over here. So he's going to have three attacks here, hitting on um, hitting on twos. Oh no, he didn't charge. So hitting on fours. So that's still three hits though. Uh, wounding on threes, that is uh, two wounds, uh, AP minus three, so uh, command, he's going to spend a command point on that, uh, makes that one, so that's going to be three, six up saves. Uh, making one, failing two, uh, those are three damage apiece, that means they are dead. All right, so now Samuel is going to attack, put all of his attacks into the Thunderwolf, he's going to have five attacks hitting on twos, those are all hits. These are going to be strength plus one, so it's going to be wounding on fours. Uh, getting uh, three wounds, AP minus three, so three three up saves. Failing one, so he takes two wounds. And now my lieutenant who heroically intervened over here is going to attack into his uh, wolf pack leader over there. So he's going to have uh, three attacks base plus one because he um, he, uh, he has a chain sword. So he's going to be hitting on threes. Uh, ooh, one second. Hitting on twos, he's a lieutenant there. So that's going to be four hits. These are going to be wounding on fours. Uh, getting three wounds, AP minus nothing, so three, three up serves. Ooh, and he fails, so he is dead. All right, so that is the end of the Space Wolf's turn here on turn two. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the uh, for the Dark Angels here on turn two. All right, movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn uh, two. Um, I did get one point for here because the guy, these guys before they moved over there were within one, were, were within three inches. So I did held that one. So I did get a point for that. Uh, then in the movement phase, these guys, uh, he fell, uh, Samuel fell back out of combat over here. And then the Talon Master moved around to join him over there. 
these scouts stood still, these scouts stood still, these scouts moved over this way. Um, we'll come back to those guys. Uh, uh, Azrael and my lieutenant fell back, or just moved back over this way. Uh, my intercessors over here um, moved on to the objective over here. These scouts moved up here, and then from Deep Shark Reserve, my Deathwing Knights, Belial, and my Deathwing Terminators dropped in. Uh, when these guys dropped in, I told my opponent, I'm going to spend two points on the stratagem Deathwing, uh, Deathwing Assault, which allows them to shoot as though it's the shooting phase into these guys over here. So they have five Storm Bolters between them, so that is going to be 20 shots coming into them over here, hitting on threes. All right, come back to that. All right, so we got 12 hits. These are going to be strength four, toughness four, looking for fours to wound. All right, so we've got one, two. Oh, man, that is a lot of not wounds there. So it's going to be uh, two, four, five uh, wounds there. AP nothing, so five, three ups. Uh, failing three of them. All right, so now these snipers are going to start us off in the shooting phase, shooting into his warlord over here. So I've got four shots hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of Grim Resolve, so that is going to be three hits. These are going to be wounding on fours, uh, getting one wound, one regular save. Uh, no, he takes a wound. And then these guys are going to do the same thing. Uh, hitting on threes, that's all hits. Wounding on fours, uh, getting one, two, three, four. No mortal wounds, but four regular saves. Uh, makes them all. All right, so now a talent master is going to shoot into the gray hunters over here. Uh, he's going to be hitting on fours because he moved. Rerolling ones and twos because of Samael, thankfully. All right. So these are now going to be strength six, so looking for threes to wound. Uh, Rerolling ones because of himself. All righty, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six AP minus one. So six four up saves making all but two and then the twin heavy bolter on fours as well re-rolling ones and twos okay that's three hits looking for threes to wound oh re-rolling ones because of himself all right so two wounds ap minus one um failing one my scouts two of them are going to fire into his uh, thunder wolf there the other three guys you can't see i'm going to fire into the wolf guard over uh, the uh gray hunters over here so we're going to start with the ones into the thunder wolves first that's two hits. That is no wounds. And then we've got three shots into the wolf guard over there, or the, the gray hunters. Not getting to reroll ones because they did move. Uh, getting one wound. One save. The Terminator's here gonna fire into his Thunder Wolf over there. 10 shots because they're not in rapid fire range. Hitting on threes. All right, they did move because they just dropped in. These are going to be wounding on fives. Oh, one wound. Can he make the save? Oh, just enough. So Belial over here is equidistant between his Land Raider and Nial, so he's going to shoot into Nial over there. So four shots hitting on twos. Rerolling because of himself. All right, those are all hits. Wounding on fours. That is three wounds. AP nothing, so just two up saves. Oh, failing one. He's going to set a command point to reroll that. Oh, and he still takes the wound. My intercessors here are going to fire into his land raider because got to roll your dice. Hitting on uh, threes. Wounding on uh, eights. Uh, sixes? Eights. Toughness eight. So wounding on sixes. Uh, no wounds there. All right, so now Azrael's going to fire into the other squad of Grey Hunters over here. He's going to fire both profiles, so we're going to start with the Plasma first. Hitting on threes, because it's minus one to hit when you fire both. All right, that's two hits. Wounding on threes. That is two wounds. AP minus uh, three, so looking for six ups. No, failed it dead. And then the Mastercrafted Bolter. Uh, Rerolling because of himself. That's two hits. That is no wounds. All right, so now Samael is going to fire his twin assault cannon at the Thunderwolf. He's going to fire a twin heavy bolter at the uh, Grey Hunters there. So we're going to do the twin assault cannon into the Thunderwolf, hitting on threes because he moved. Rerolling ones because of himself. Nope, just a bunch of twos. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, these are now going to be strength six, so wounding on threes. All right, rerolling ones because of the Talon Master. Not meant to be, so that is going to be three, six, seven, AP minus one. So seven, four ups. Can he make them? No problem. No, he didn't. <laughs> and now the twin heavy bolter into these guys over here, hitting on threes. 
Uh, those are all hits. Wounding on threes. Uh, Rerolling ones because of the Talon Master. All right, so that is going to be one, two, three, four, five at AP minus one. So five, four ups. Uh, one, two, three dead. That is the squad. And then he's going to throw a crack grenade. Uh, Lieutenant's going to throw a crack grenade into the land right over there. Uh, that's a hit. Looking for a five. That is a wound. Uh, that is not a save. So it's D. What's well, that? Minus one. Minus one because, or, yeah, minus one. So it's going to be um, D3 damage. Hey, doing one damage. All right, so that's it for shooting phase. Into the assault phase, uh, my um, Deathwing Knights are going to charge into his uh, into his Land Raider and also into Neal over here. So Neal is going to fire Overwatch here. This is going to be his bird, so D3 attacks, three attacks. Uh, D6 attacks, so that's going to be five attacks. These are going to be uh, hitting on sixes. Uh, getting two hits. Strength. Pick your eyes out. Three. Strength three. So looking for fives. That is a wound. Um, looking for a two-up save. Really? All right. One of them takes a wound from him. And then his Storm Bolter. Uh, no hits there. Uh, no, he's within 12. So it's uh, it's going to be four shots. Storm Bolter. Yeah, rapid fire. St uh, one hit. That is not a wound, though. And now the Land Raider, we're going to start with a Twin Assault Cannon first. The 12 shots hitting on sixes. Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, and then the multi melter. No, nothing from there. So they need a 9-inch charge to get in over here. Oh, and they are way in with the double fill first. And then Belial's going to charge into Neal, who needed a 9-inch charge. Oh, and he's in. All right, so now my Deathwing Terminators are going to charge into his Grey Hunter squad over here. Uh, not, yeah, Grey Hunter. I got it right. Hey, it is Grey Hunter squad over here. Um, so these are now, he's going to uh, fire Overwatch with the one thing with a bolt pistol he can. Uh, nope, no hit there. So they need a 10-inch charge to get in. They are not going to make it in. All right, so we're going to start off the fight phase with um, with Belial attacking into Nial Stormcaller over here. Uh, because he was in the honor duel, he gets the plus one attack. Uh, he gets uh, plus one strength, which doesn't matter because his sword wounds on two. He also gets plus one uh, bullet weapon skill, but he's already got a two up weapon skill, so doesn't make a difference. So the only thing that matters is the plus one attack. So he's going to have five attacks, hitting on uh, twos, rerolling because of himself. All right, so that's going to be five hits. These are going to be wounding on twos. Oh, that's going to be three wounds over there. Uh, these are going to be AP minus three. So he's going to have his four up invul save. Or does he have five up? Does he have an iron halo or does he only have five up? Oh, uh, five. Regardless, the one he made is fine. So that's going to be two that go through. So he's going to take four damage. So he is uh, down to one wound left. All right, so now my Deathwing Knights are going to attack the four with the uh, maces. are going to attack into his uh, into his land raider. And the one with the flail is going to attack into Nial. So he's going to put three attacks into Nial over here. Hitting on threes. Rerolling because of Belial. All right, so that's going to be two hits. Uh, strength plus two. So that's going to be strength six looking for threes to wound. Getting one wound. AP minus three. So four up in both save. Oh, he's good. And then the other guys are going to have four attack, two attacks each, so it's going to be eight attacks hitting on threes. Rerolling because of Belial. Okay, not meant to be. These are now strength times two, so looking for uh, fours to wound. Oh, my God, just going to have the two wounds. AP minus two, so four up saves. Fails both of them, so that's going to be six damage onto him. Let's spend a command point to reroll one of those and makes it, so he's just going to take three damage. So now Nial is going to attack back into uh, Belial over here. So it's going to have three attacks, hitting on hitting on twos because it's plus one, minus one, um, because of uh, Belial is minus one to hit because of parrying blade. But he's uh, so he's going to be strength plus two, so looking for threes to wound. So that's going to be one wound, AP minus two, maybe one second. We'll find out. AP minus one, so looking for a three up serve. He's good. All right, so now the uh, the Land Raider is going to attack back into my Terminator over here. So he's going to have six attacks hitting on sixes. Ooh, getting three hits. That's killer. Strength six, I believe, right? So uh, he's going to be wounding on threes. So that's going to be two wounds. Uh, two two-up saves. They're good. At the end of the fight phase, I'm going to spend three CP on Honor the Chapter to allow my Deathwing Knights to attack again. So my, again, he is, go my Nightmaster is going to attack into his, um, into hit into Neal over there. So three attacks hitting on threes. 
Uh, Rerolling because of Belial. So that is three hits. These are going to be strength plus two. So wounding on uh, wounding on threes. That is three wounds at AP minus three. So three, four up saves. No, he failed all three of them. So he is dead. And now my uh, the other guys are going to attack into the land raider over here. So it's going to be eight attacks hitting on threes. Uh, Rerolling because of Belial. So that is going to be all hits. Wounding on fours. Getting one, two, three, four, five wounds at AP minus two. So four, five, four up saves. Ooh, making them all spicy. All right, so that is the end of the uh, Dark Angels turn here on turn two. Uh, do your Grey Hunters over here, they lost three guys. They have to take a, a test, I believe, right? Yes, yeah, so these guys have to take a test. So three plus uh, four is seven, but they're good. So they're good to go. Um, these guys lost two, so they can't fail. Uh, so that is going to be it for the Dark Angels' turn here on turn two. Uh, so the beginning of the turn, uh, my opponent actually doesn't hold any objectives, so doesn't get any points for that. So we will come back to you after movement phase for the Space Wolves here on turn three. All right, movement phase for the Space Wolves here on turn three. His Land Raider fell back out of combat over this way. Uh, his two Grey Hunter squads, as well as his two uh, Wolf Lords, uh, moved up over this way. Uh, his Warlord looking to re-up the, uh, the honor duel with Belial that started this whole feud here, uh, going trying to charge back into combat over there. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so that is going to be it for the uh, movement phase. Uh, his Psyker is dead now, so we will come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so we're going to start off with this Grey Hunter squad here. He's going to fire into my um, into my Terminators over here. So we've got a Meltagun, we've got a Plasma Pistol, and we've got a Bolt Pistol. So we're going to go with the uh, Meltagun first. Hitting on a three, that's a hit. Wounding on a two, that is a wound. Three up, invul serve. He's good. Bolt Pistol, that's a hit. That is a wound. Oh, that is not a wound. <laughs> and the Plasma Pistol. Are you going to supercharge? Not going to supercharge. So that is a hit. That is a wound. Ooh, that is not a save, dead guy. And then the other Grey Hunter squad is going to do the same thing, except it's uh, three bolt shots and a melter shot. So we have the three bolt shots first. Hitting on threes, that's all hits. That is going to be three wounds. Three two-ups. Uh, making them all. And the melter. That's not a hit. And now the two Wolf Lords are going to fire their bolt pistols into them over there. So that's going to be two hits. That's going to be one wound. And that's going to be a save with a fill first. All right, that's it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, his Warlord here is going to charge into Belial and the Knights. So Belial is going to fire Overwatch with his uh, Storm Bolter. Hitting on sixes, re-rolling because of himself. Getting nothing. Overwatch is not my day today. So here comes his charge distance. Uh, he is in. And then his other wolf lord is going to... Uh, so we we're trying to think of a name for uh, the space wolf uh, slam captain. And uh, you know how you have Slam Gwinius on the Blood Angels? I was thinking... Um, I was thinking... Uh, <laughs> slam and Russ is what we're going to go with. <laughs> Instead of Lehman Russ for these guys. So Slam and Russ over here is going to be charging in as well into both of them and nine inches might be enough to get him around where he wanted to go all right so he was able to get into both uh, uh combats over here because he went around this way so just so you know we didn't do it where he jump packed over top which he would have only needed like a three or four to do instead because he got that nine inch charge he was able to run uh basically just do a whole big old jaunt run around over here to get onto this side of them so he could get into combat with both for uh all sorts of fun shenanigans that he would like to try over there so that is that assault and now this group of uh, Grey Hunters is going to charge into my Terminators. Uh, three inches might be enough. Let, let me take a look. Oh, they weren't in, but so he's going to roll, roll that one into a three and they are in. And then the next squad is going to do the same thing. Uh, we're not making it with a two. All right, so starting out the fight phase, his Warlord is going to continue the uh, the honor duel here with Belial. He is going to attack Belial right now. Uh, he's going to spend one command point for Seeking his Saga. So he is going to uh, be able to reroll because uh, Belial's power level eight, he's power level six. It means that he can, um, the Space Wolves character is going to attack into him. He can reroll um, all failed wound rolls against him in this fight phase. So he's going to have, uh, was it four base attacks, four base attacks, plus one for, the, uh, for his saga plus one for the stone and plus one for the uh because of the um 
the honor duel that he got into there. So it's going to be a total of seven attacks coming in here. He's minus one to hit because of the hammer, minus one to hit because of Belial, plus one to hit because of Space Wolf since he charged this turn. So these are going to have seven attacks hitting on uh, threes. Rerolling ones. Re ones because of himself. Nope, two misses there, so it's going to be five hits. These are going to be wounding on twos, rerolling. All right, so that is going to be five wounds. Belial has five, four up Iron Halo saves to make here. Come on, show me them fill faces back into the honor duel. Failing two of them is how many wounds? Three apiece. So that's going to be six wounds. Oh, that will kill him. So I'm going to spend Azrael's free reroll that he gets because of being the warlord in his warlord trade here to reroll this. There's a 50 50 chance of him surviving. Come on. Do it. Four up. Show me that four up. Yeah, with the five. Woo! And I'm going to interrupt with Belial. The smart move would be to attack into his, into, uh, into, into Slayman, uh, Slayman Russ over here. Uh, <laughs> Slayman Russ over here. But I'm going to do the cooler move, which is to attack back into his warlord, continue this honor duel, and I'm going to try to gain my honor back over here. So I've got five attacks. going to get the plus one attack because of our honor duel there. These are going to be hitting on twos. Rerolling because of himself. Okay, so that is all hits. These are going to be wounding on twos, because that's what he does. Oh, that's five wounds. Three up, invul saves. No, oh, and he is dead, and that is slay the warlord. All right, so now his uh, other wolf lord over here, Slayman Russ, is going to attack into... Two attacks into uh, Belial, two attacks into my Deathwing Knights here. So we're going to do the two attacks into Belial first, see if he can gain back. Uh, uh, he's hitting on uh, minus one to hit because of uh, because of Belial, minus one to hit. So he's hitting on threes. So it is two hits because um, he did charge. Uh, these are going to be hit, wounded on twos. Oh, man, there's two wounds. Belial needs to make both of these four-up saves to be survived. Can he do it? Come on! Yeah, he can! Belial is the champion we needed! And now the two attacks into my, uh, into my Deathwing Knights over there. So that is going to be two hits. These are going to be wounding on twos. That is two wounds. Three up in Vol saves because of Storm Shields. Uh, failed one of them, so that's going to be three damage. That's going to kill a guy. All right, so now the uh, Grey Hunter is going to attack. So we're going to do the Power Fist guy first. So he's got two attacks here, hitting on... Um, Hitting on threes, because it's a uh, minus one, plus one. And then that is going to be no wound there. And now the two other guys are going to attack in there. They've got, um, they're going to have chain swords here, so it's going to be two attacks each here. Uh, those are going to be hitting on twos. Uh, so that's going to be uh, re-rolling because of the wolf lord over there. Uh, re-rolling ones. So that's, uh, that's going to be three hits. That is going to be two wounds. Two two up armor saves. Yeah, they good. All right, so now my Deathwing Knights are going to attack back. So my Nightmaster and the other guy here are going to attack into the Wolf Lord. This guy is going to attack into the uh, the regular guys there. So we'll do the one guy into the regular guys. So it's going to be two attacks hitting on threes. That is re-rolling because of Belial. So that's two hits. Wounding on twos. That is two wounds. AP minus two, so two five-up saves. Uh, making one, failing one, so three damage. One guy is just kaputsk. All right, so now the other ones are going to attack into his Wolf Lord. We're going to do the guy with the uh, mace first, so two attacks hitting on threes. That's two hits. Wounding on twos. That is two wounds, sixes. Let's see if it means anything. Three up saves. Oh, he makes them both. And then three attacks from the Nightmaster over there. Those are all hits. That is one wound. <laughs> Oh, but he fails it, so he takes two damage. And my opponent's gonna spend three CP to honor the chapter with his, with his, uh, with Slayman Russ over here, who is going to attack into Belial with all of his attacks. So four attacks, hitting on threes, uh, hitting on yeah, minus two plus two, yeah, hitting on threes. So two hits, wounded on twos, two wounds. Here it comes two four up saves. Can he make it? No, and I failed both, so I can't even re-roll one of them to save it. And Belial is dead, so he regains. He, uh, he, he gets back the honor of his slain friend that's lying dead in front of him over there. Ah! 
All right, so that is uh, going to be it for the um, the Space Wolves turn here on turn three. Uh, we will come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn three. All right, movement phase. My scouts stood still. Scouts stood still. These scouts moved up here. These Terminators moved up over this way. Um, Asriel stood still, as did my lieutenant, as did my um, intercessors here. These scouts moved up over this way. They stayed in combat. Deathwing Knights, um, both uh, Samael and the Talonmaster moved up over this way, looking on everything that's over here. And that's where we're boiling it down to over here, the crux of the situation down over here. So uh, that's it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the shooting phase. All right, so now my five-man intercessor squad here is going to fire into the gray hunters we've got 10 shots they're all in rapid fire range hitting on threes uh not uh that's pretty good there these are now going to be wounding oops wounding on uh fours re-rolling ones because of the lieutenant that's over there by them that is real good <laughs> that's going to be two four six eight wounds at ap minus one eight four ups no they are there it is. Now Samael's going to fire everything into his land raider over here. So we're going to do the twin assault cannon first. Hitting on threes because he moved. Rerolling ones because of himself. All right. These are now going to be wounding on five. Strength six. Wounding on fives. Rerolling ones because of the talent master. Not meant to be. So that is going to be one, two, three, four at AP minus one. So four, three ups. Uh, making them all. And the twin heavy bolter. Rerolling ones because of himself. All right, so there's going to be three hits. Wounding on fives. Getting no wounds. And now the talent master is going to do the same thing. 12 shots from his twin assault cannon. Hitting on um, hitting on fours because he moved. Rerolling ones and twos because of the uh, because of Samael. All righty then. Boop. These are now strength six, so looking for fives to wound. We're only ones because of himself. Getting two wounds. AP minus one. Two, three ups. Uh, making them both. Twin heavy bolter. Uh, We're only ones and twos because of Samael. Okay. <laughs> fives to wound. One wound. He's good. All right, so now my Deathwing Terminators are going to fire into him over there. Rapid fire range. Got 20 shots here hitting on um, hitting on threes. Come back to you with that. Wounding on sixes. Show me those Phil Facers. Getting one. Two. Two. Getting two. Two two-up saves. Uh, makes them both. Now my snipers here are going to fire into him. Four shots hitting on threes. Not re-rolling twos. Wounding on uh, sixes. Uh, getting one to six, so that's going to be a, um, a mortal wound plus a regular save. And he's good on the regular save. And my other scouts are going to do the same thing. Threes to hit. Rerolling one because of uh, uh, Grim Resolve. Sixes to wound. Getting no wounds. Scouts, because you got to roll your dice. That is all hits. Sixes to wound. Getting no wounds. Azrael's going to supercharge into him here. Two shots hitting on twos. That's two hits. Strength eight looking for fours to wound. Getting re-rolling one because of the uh, the lieutenant over there. That is two wounds. AP minus three. So looking for five up saves. Failing one of them, making one of them. So he takes two wounds. Lieutenant's going to throw a crack grenade. That's a hit. That is not a wound. And the scouts are going to fire. Uh, they move, so no re-rolls there. Looking for sixes. No, no wounds. All right, that's it for shooting phase into the assault phase. My Terminators are going to charge into his Land Raider over here. So he's going to fire Overwatch. They're, they're 10-inch charge, so he's going to be out of range for the Flamers. So we've got the Multi-Melter first. That is a hit. Wounding on a uh, two. That is a wound. Five up in Vol save. Yeah, they're good. And the Twin Assault Cannon. Looking for getting one hit. Getting no wounds, so they need a 10-inch charge to make it in. Oh, I'm going to spend my very last command point to try to get it in. 50-50 shot of doing it. No, he's not in. Do I get the command point back? I don't. So I'm out of command points. Oh, there's the four I needed. Uh, so no command points, and they're not in. So now my Talon Master is going to charge in. He's just over eight inches away, which means no flamer. So here comes his uh, multi-melter first. 
That's not a hit. Then we've got the twin assault cannon that will be firing in here. Uh, these are going to be 12 shots hitting on sixes. Uh, getting no hits there, so he needs an 8-inch charge. Can he make it? Yeah, he's in! Samael needs a 7-inch charge to get in. Uh, he is ooh, just out. Asriel's going to charge in. He's in. Why not? Lieutenant's going to charge in. He's in. Scouts are going to charge into his uh, wolf lord over there. They're in. And then these guys are going to charge in because why not? Let's get them in. All right, so now Azrael is going to attack first into the land raider over here. So he's going to have five attacks hitting on twos. Rerolling because of himself. Okay, those are all hits. Wounding on fives because he's strength plus two. Ooh, no wounds! Talonmaster is going to do the same thing with his Heavenfall Blade. Hitting on twos, re-rolling. That is all hits. Wounding on, uh, wounding on, whatchamacallit, wounding on fives, because he's also strength plus two. Oh boy, that's going to be three wounds. AP minus three, so three five ups. Oh, fails them all. D3 wounds apiece. This could kill him if I get three six ups, or three five ups. Oh no, instead I do three, four, five, six, seven wounds. He's down to two! And now the lieutenant's gonna attack in with his four attacks because of the chain sword. That's all hits. Wounding on sixes. Getting one wound. Two up save. Oh, he's good. And the intercessors are gonna attack in over here. So we've got 11 attacks hitting on threes. Re-rolling. All right, these are now going to be wounding on sixes. Show me those fill faces. Ooh, five wounds. The intercessors apparently found like a open hatch on the side over there. So we got five two up saves. Oh, he fails one down to one wound left. All right, so now my scouts are gonna attack into the wolf lord over there. So six attacks over there hitting on threes. Uh, okay, pretty good there. Wounding on fours. Uh, okay, not as good there. And now my Deathwing Knights will activate, so I'm going to have the one regular guy uh, into these guys, and then I'm going to have the one guy with the mace and the Nightmaster into his uh, Wolf Lord over there. So we're going to do the regular guy into the regular Dude Bros. Two attacks, hitting on threes. Getting one hit. Wounding on a two. That's a wound. AP minus three, uh, two. Uh, four is a dead guy. And then we're going to have the other guy into the Wolf Lord. That's one hit. That's one wound. Three up, invul save. Oh, and he is dead because that is three damage. All right, so now his uh, this guy over here with the power fist is going to attack into my into my knights over there. So he's going to have two attacks hitting on um, fours because he didn't uh, charge. And no, not on a one. He doesn't wound. And he's going to attack over here. Three attacks into the lieutenant, getting no hits there. So that is the end of the Dark Angel's turn here on turn three. And uh, we're going to call it there because we've got one Grey Hunter left and uh, one wound left on his uh, thing. So, uh, yeah, that went... Uh, pretty well for the Dark Angels. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But over here, that fight when they re, uh, when they, when they went back into the honor duel over here, that was amazing. We, <laughs> the two of us were just laughing the entire time and getting super stoked. That was so much fun. So much fun. I love playing these kind of like narrative, like takes on things. So, you know, try to figure out who goes first, like with an honor duel between your champions. That's awesome. Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this. I certainly have. I have been Phil the Glacial Geek as always. My opponent's been Dan. And until next time, have fun.